Yo, what is up everybody? Jump in here and today this is going to be another Halo 4 gameplay commentary. Today it's going to be on the map Haven again and it's going to be King of the Hill again. In this gameplay I believe I go 29 and 9 or maybe 29 and 8. I can't really remember. Let's go ahead and get into this right away. Alright, initially I'm going to try to rush the hill. Try to pick up a little bit of time if possible. Um, I mean, that's really the best thing to do when there's no enemies around the hill. Get in the hill, get some time. But when the enemies start clustering in, you might want to consider backing up. Um, it's kind of an e it's easy to kill them if they're all rushing the hill. You can nade them, wait for your teammates. You shouldn't ever try to take on four guys by yourself. I mean, that is just not going to happen. Um, Unless you have a lot of grenades or maybe a sticky detonator or something like that rocket launcher You would be great, but yeah normally like a 2v1 is death and a 3v1 is super death and a 4v1 is just uh, What would you think in kind of death? But anyway um, Right here. I'm gonna kill this guy now Remember guys like I said this map has some really ridiculous spawns at times So you gotta watch out for that Right here, this guy's gonna poke out. He's gonna get the first shot on me. And normally, if you're playing at some or you're fighting at someone who has a decent DMR, they get the first shot. They probably will kill you, and that's exactly what happened there. It was kind of close, but he ended up pulling it out and killing me. All right, so now we got the middle hill again. This middle hill is actually um, it's actually easy to dominate if you can do it right. But unfortunately, normally it takes uh, it takes a team do it like maybe a full squad and the way you want to do it is you can actually set it up so you can block all the spawns but one of the spawns as long as you have guys on three of the sides and they will literally always spawn on one side and everybody can just focus fire on on that side I mean you can keep them so far back that they can't even like attempt to come at you and you can just dominate the time of the hill right here I got my magnum pick up a triple pretty dope but unfortunately, I'm going to try to fight a guy with a BR, and this thing kind of fails at any type of mid to long range against a weapon like a BR, DMR, carbine, whatever. And that always sucks, but the pistol or the magnum I do think is a good secondary gun, but unfortunately, the bolt shot just seems more useful. Um, I've been using the bolt shot now, and I, I, you know, I know I was complaining about it because I hate it. And right here, I'm gonna get killed. I believe I got team shot it though, because normally the BR does not, does not uh, four shot you, which right there it kind of did. Uh, and that only happens when the when someone can get bleed through. The one thing the BR does really, really well is it can actually still kills. That's the really only advantage of it. To be quite honest, if you have a consistent five shot, the DMR is normally the better way to go. But the BR, the only advantage is honestly still in kills, I swear to you. Um, I mean, it's five shots, and it has so much less range than the DMR. So, I don't know, it is an easier gun to use, though. That That is for sure. And right here, I don't know what my teammate's doing. I'm, I mean, he threw a grenade, I made the guy one shot, and he didn't shoot him until after I died. So it's whatever, but that's something, you know, when you play with randoms, that, that happens a lot. They're kind of idiotic. Right here, I'm going to pick up a kill, throw some grenades. The guy's going to drop down, give me a double. I know there's another guy, so I'm going to try to get the triple, and then I'm going to get picked off. I wasn't really paying attention to the fact that there was another guy coming around the corner, but... Now, the BR, honestly, guys, the BR is a decent gun but it's just the range that's the problem now in my one commentary when I talked about the BR I think a lot of people thought I was suggesting they should make it a four shot now that is one thing they could do to make it a little bit more interesting but I don't think they actually have to do that I think the main thing that would make that gun and the carbine a lot better is if they just simply increase the range just slightly I mean, the DMR should have more range. That's what I'd say. I think it should be a longer, uh, you know, longer like range weapon. But the BR, I mean, is so lacking in that department compared to the DMR that the DMR just has an ultimate advantage. Now, right there, I got naded. That's the thing that I really don't like about King of the Hill is the grenades. I get grenaded so much, and that's really a deterrent to not get in the hill that much. I mean, when you're going to get in the hill and you know you're going to get blown to hell because of all the grenades, it's a bitch. 
I wish, um, I wish they would have done what they did in other Halo games. It's either A, make it so that you can only spawn with one grenade on King of the Hill, or make it so that you can only, uh, you, you spawn with no grenades. That seems, that would be really interesting, I think, uh, but, I don't know. Right here, I'm gonna be in third person because every time you, um, if you're in theater mode and you go into a third person animation, you are stuck in a third person animation. Right there was another good was an example of spawns. Um, sometimes if you get shot in the front, well, guess what? Someone's gonna spawn behind you and shoot you in the back. That's just how this map works. And that always that always sucks when that happens. And, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and rush over here. And yeah, there's spawns. The spawns on this map as well for King is normally the enemy team will spawn right next to the hill. So I'm gonna chill on this bottom part. That is a very good idea because it. You don't want to rush up there. There's no way you can win 4v1. But it's a good idea because it keeps the enemy team from actually dropping down. If they drop down one shot, they kind of expect to die. This is kind of nice right here. I'm going to pick up a kill, pick up a double kill, and I know that guy's going to be one shot. And it's going to get me the third triple of the game, so that's pretty dope. Um, anyway, though, guys, like I was saying, I really hope you have enjoyed this. Um, please like this video. And like always, have a nice day.